Robert Edsel has spent more than a decade working to preserve the legacy of a group of unsung heroes who saved the world's greatest art and cultural treasures for the benefit of civilization. Through his previous books and documentaries and a forthcoming Hollywood film, he has succeeded in introducing the world to the Monuments Men. In his newest book, Saving Italy, Robert Edsel follows two of the Monuments Men in the struggle to protect and save some of the world's greatest treasures located in Italy. We're pleased to have our friend and trustee of this museum today here at the National World War II Museum to talk about his latest work. Uh, Robert, in, in your last book, uh, Monuments Men, you talk about the uh, premeditated looting of art in Northern Europe by Hitler and his Nazi uh, henchmen. In your recent book, Saving Italy, you tell the story a little bit differently and you draw attention to uh, an SS uh, commander in, in Italy that's uh, kind of an unusual and uh, revealing story uh, about the whole war in the Italy as well as the art war. Could you tell us a little bit about this and how you discovered it and who he is? Well, it's a great question, and I couldn't be more excited about the fact that George Clooney and his partner Grant Hesloff have assembled an incredible team of actors uh, for the filming of The Monuments Men, um, including Kate Blanchett, uh, Matt Damon, Jean Dujardin, John Goodman, Bill Murray, among others. Uh, but the uh, wartime events in Italy are very, very different than what took place in Northern Europe. Um, Germany, of course, had Italy as an ally for so many years of the war, and that spared a lot of the widespread looting in Italy that took place in Northern Europe. But with the uh, separation or the uh, change of allegiance by Italy in September 1943, some German commanders and troops were determined to exact measures of retribution. And the wanton looting of, of libraries and museum treasures that belonged to the city of Naples gave an indication of the threat and danger to so much of Italy's patrimony from these disgruntled and angry troops having lost this ally. Um, the monuments officers, of course, couldn't get behind enemy lines to try and protect so many of the treasures in these cities that lay along the path of the German retreat. Fortunately, uh, Rome and Siena were artistically bypassed. But by the time German troops were in Tuscany, uh, hundreds of the greatest masterpieces in the world from the Florentine museums that had been hidden in villas and castles in the Tuscan countryside were located by German troops and removed north towards the Reich. And a largely unknown and surprising figure emerged as their guardian, SS General Karl Wolf. Wolf had been a longtime adjutant for SS leader Heinrich Himmler, and in fact was a favorite of Adolf Hitler. But he had realized that Germany's, Nazi Germany's days were numbered. And in a desperate gambit for survival, Wolf developed a plot, a plan, to secretly surrender all German forces in Italy. The Florentine treasures were an important component of the negotiations that ended up unfolding between he and Alan Dulles, America's key spymaster, uh, head of the OSS operation in Italy. And these negotiations provide an incredibly exciting conclusion to uh, an incredible story about uh, these events and these people, and in particular explain how Wolf managed to avoid prosecution as a key Nazi war criminal.